Hi, I'm Exo, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. Bagwashing a plaster wall is a simple yet effective way of creating a textured, rustic look. And it's also ideal if your plastered work is a little on the rough side. It's a simple mix of cement, water, and key coats applied with a block brush. Remember, the idea is to go for a rough textured finish. It's so easy to mix and apply. Let me show you how. The products and tools you'll need are a few kilos of regular cement powder and white cement powder, acrylic key coat, water and a bucket to mix in, a soft fine bristle block brush and possibly a paintbrush, as well as masking tape and a drop sheet. And if you have a drill and paint stirrer, it really comes in handy. New plaster needs to have dried for at least two weeks before we can bag wash it. And this wall is ready. First off, I'm going to mask the areas I don't want to get cement mix on and lay a drop sheet on the floor to avoid splatter. To make the bag washing mix in the bucket, simply add three parts regular cement, three parts white cement, and two parts water and mix it in. You're going to need to add more water as you go. Key coats helps the cement slurry to stick to the plastered wall. So once this is all mixed properly, slowly add and mix three parts key coats until you have a paint-like consistency. If you're worried about damp, you can apply this directly onto the surface. Add water slowly so the cement has time to soak it in. And go easy on the water. Add more if you need to, rather than too much. So the mix is ready. An application is simple. So let's get started before the cement starts setting. We want to see the bristle strokes and if your plaster is a little on the rough side in certain places, don't worry about it. It's going to look great after it's been bag washed. Remember that rough look is exactly what we're going for. Bag washing can be applied not only to plastered walls, but also on rough bricks and rough concrete. So as you can see, this area is already started to dry. So you don't need to keep painting over the same spot. But just remember to keep stirring your cement to avoid it from hardening. Job done, it's that simple. And it's definitely the look I was going for. Rustic yet smart. And it's certainly something you can do for yourself. Now remember, everything I've used is available at Builders, in-store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-to videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to builders, get it done.